stay with recruiting, but let's move to the football field. There is some exciting news for UNC football Oh, recruiting. baby. Oh, baby. Our man, Kelly Bryant, he did an unofficial visit a few weeks ago, but then he went to Arkansas. looked like he had a great time, and all us Tar Heel fans were like, oh, no. Got me no. a little worried. Oh, oh no. no. But. He's coming back this weekend, so any Tar Heel people that are listening to this, come to the game this Saturday you against Georgia show Tech. Shut up and be loud. We need an atmosphere like we saw against Virginia Tech because we need Kelly Bryant. We need Kelly Bryant. In and the worst kind of way. Kelly Bryant, we want you. UNC wants you. You can make UNC Kelly, football you great come again. to UNC, I'll, I'll, I'll cut your name in the side of my head. Okay, so why... Should Kelly Bryant come to UNC? Uh, I mean, all right, so Kelly Bryant feels like he's been slighted by Clemson because he wasn't performing poorly by any means. But, of course, Trevor Lawrence, he looks very good. He's already thrown like 13, 16 touchdowns already, somewhere in that range. Um, But Kelly has to prove that he is an an NFL-caliber player. What better place to do that to show that you can lead a program than to lead the most spiraling football program in the ACC to a successful season? Ergo, North Carolina is a school that is big enough to be on the stage of all those other big schools. However, we suck, and if he were to come and turn around the program... He will have NFL scouts turning heads and looking at Kelly Bryant. I think he could only win in the scenario if he came to UNC. Now, that being said, UNC will have, we have to focus on keeping, uh, keep getting top wide receiver recruits for Kelly and to protect them with our O-line. I mean, I like that point you just made. If he has to show that he can be an NFL guy, and when you enter the league as a rookie, quarterback you're in a tough situation and UNC is in a tough situation so if he comes in and he makes it a winning program I mean that shows a lot for Kelly Bryant that, that shows, shows a, ton. a lot um, you know getting moving on from Clemson where you had so much success to then going to a failing program and UNC bringing that up you know Obviously, I don't know if he's going to be that huge difference, but he'll make a big difference if he does come. And then the other thing with Kelly Bryan is, you know, you get to play in the ACC. You get to go after Clemson. You can get some revenge. Mm -hmm. You stay in a conference you're familiar with. And you have the chance to be a savior. If you win, if you transfer to UNC and you win, and it's not even that high of expectations, I think if you won eight football games next year. If you won five football I games, mean, that you, UNC students would be happy if we won five yeah, football the, games. The, if you're hovering around 500 as a football team, maybe a little bit above, I, I have a little bit higher expectations than I you. Think, I think if he came, I think we could be a 7-8 win team. Yeah. He would be a god on campus. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, UNC students want to see good football. Kelly Bryant, you can bring that to everyone. You can make your impact in North Carolina as a Tar Heel playing ACC football, and maybe you get some revenge against Clemson on the way. I think that would be a nice little benefit. That being said, though, I mean, you think we say he would be a god on campus if he were able to come and turn a program around. But also, if you're Kelly Bryant, you're thinking, now, if I want to prove myself, do I want to prove myself at a program that's completely failing, where I basically have to pull it up by the bootstraps? I mean, he said... uh, I believe he said Missouri checked a lot of his boxes. Missouri is a competitive football team. If he went to Missouri, he would have the structure in place, an SEC team. They're going to have good defense. They're going to have big, strong guys in that O-line that that can protect them. And if he were to make waves in the SEC, that would make national headlines. Now, this is a dangerous game. UNC is going to have to really sell the point of you would you would be coming to the national spotlight by turning a no-name team into something special. But the flip side could be said for Missouri, and they have a much better structure there. Now that's something that we're gonna that UNC is gonna have to work with and combat that doubt that he could have about the structure of the team. But if Fedora keeps recruiting well, how he had 26 overall recruiting class this past year, I think that could be a tantalizing 
uh, tantalizing deal for Kelly Bryant. Yeah, and also the good news is Bryant actually his unofficial visit was during the Virginia Tech game, so I yeah. think that's a that's really good um, for the Tar Heels because that was a great environment for Kelly Bryant. Just depressing though how we lost, but it was still a fun game. Yeah, so he's supposedly nowhere near making a decision, but hopefully this weekend will push them towards the Tar Heels. That's what we can hope for, but we can't do that unless it is a packed house Saturday against Georgia Tech. 